owns the memory and the responsibility of the Holocaust? Who owns the privilege of learning the right lessons from this major crime against humanity? If unbecoming a Nazi is the foundation of the new German nationalism, how can new Germans who have no Nazi background in their families prove that they left Nazism behind to become Germans? From 2006 to 2019, I followed German Muslim background Germans whose ancestors came to Germany after the Second World War as they learn about the Holocaust and the dangers of anti-Semitism in seminars that are designed specifically and only for them. These special programs are seen necessary as Muslim Germans are accused of being unable to relate to Holocaust history, incapable of showing empathy with its Jewish victims, and involved instead with importing new forms of anti-Semitism to a country that is assumed to have dealt successfully with its own anti-Jewish racism. In my research, I have seen over and over that Germans of Muslim background are not uninterested in the memory of the Holocaust. To the contrary, they experience a radical empathy that relates their own subjective, racialized and marginalized positions in contemporary Germany to those of Jewish victims of the Holocaust. In my forthcoming book, Subcontracting Guilt, Embracing Empathy, I explore what does this unprecedented interest in Muslim immigrant Germans' reactions to the Holocaust mean for Holocaust commemoration itself and for the place of Muslim immigrants in Germany and in enlarged Europe? In the Muslim Only Holocaust Education and Anti-Semitism Prevention Projects I observed throughout West Germany, Muslim minority youth are taught to actively take a stand against a particular Muslim brand of anti-Semitism. They learn about Arabs and Turks who collaborated with or inspired Nazis in their heinous crimes, or who, in rare cases, saved Jews the way some other righteous Germans and Europeans did. This model incorporates Muslim background Germans into Holocaust memory culture as a parallel society of perpetrators, bystanders, and rescuers. Paradoxically, this narrative serves to partly include non-German background nationals in the German community of faith by emphasizing that they too have a share in Holocaust history. Then it immediately excludes them from the same community, given that their share is one with its own particular guilt in its own particular community of faith outside Germany. Because Arabs and Turks have yet to atone for their contribution to the Holocaust, this narrative paints Arab and to some extent Turkish background nationals as morally inferior to repentant white Germans. I suggest that the real demand for empathy placed on German Muslims is not that they put themselves in the position of Jews, Rather, the demand is that they empathize with white Germans and swap shoes with a repentant perpetrator whom they are expected to mim mimic, even when they do not share in the history of perpetratorship. Indeed, the empathy that is inculcated in Muslim on the Holocaust education programs assumes a singular subject position, that of an individual who holds a position of power and has the capacity to victimize another.